Good morning. In about the year 33, Jesus was facing the worst experience of his whole existence. In billions of years, he had not faced anything as bad as this. He was about to go through a most excruciatingly painful death. And he had the weight of the whole human race on his shoulders. Our future rested on him. As it says in Matthew chapter 26, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. He said to his disciples, my soul is very sorrowful even to death. Remain here, watch with me. He needed help. So what did he do about it? In Luke chapter 22, it says this, that he withdrew from his apostles just a stone's throw away and it said he knelt down and he prayed. In verse 44, being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. And what was the result? An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. Now, if Jesus, who was perfect, needed to pray, is far more important for us. In Luke chapter 18, it says that Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. Well, we know the story. It's about a judge who was very unrighteous. He had no respect for God or for man. And he would dispense justice if you had a price, I suppose. He would accept bribes. But there was a widow who probably didn't have money for a bribe, and she wanted justice. And he wasn't going to give it to her, couldn't be bothered. But what she did was she kept going to him and saying, give me justice from my adversary. So in the end, this unrighteous judge says, because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she won't beat me down by her continual coming. Now, the unrighteous judge is the opposite of our dear father who loves us dearly. He will give us justice, but we do need to keep asking. Why is this? In John chapter 16 and verse 33, Jesus said this. He said, in the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. We have huge tribulation just in ordinary everyday life, just making ends meet, health, other serious problems, emotional problems. On top of that, we have escalating war in the Middle East. We have climate change, which is forcing food prices ever higher. As the Bible said, we are going to go through a time of great distress, a time of great tribulation. How are we going to cope? Well, as Jesus said, we're going to pray and not give up. Now, Jesus said something interesting in Matthew chapter 6 concerning prayer. And he said this, Your father knows what you need before you ask for him. So if the Lord knows what we need, why do we have to ask? Well, there's the whole of the Bible behind this. We have free will. We can live any way we want. The Lord will not interfere in our lives. In general, there are exceptions to this. But in general, the Lord will not interfere unless we ask for help. We need to ask. Now, Jesus gave us examples of what to ask for, our daily needs, the kingdom to come, for God's name to be hallowed, and so on. We need to be specific about what we need and continually ask. We will, if we ask in faith, we will get an answer. As he said in chapter 7 and verse 7, ask, it will be given to you. Verse 8, everyone who asks will receive. We can ask for help for other people as well, and the Lord will listen to us, and it is effective. People need help with their health, with their economic situations, with emotional ups and downs. Prayer is very effective, not just for ourselves, but for others. So we keep asking. We will receive if we ask in faith. Now, there's more to it, obviously. We always need to ask in the name of Jesus Christ, 
but because without his sacrifice, without his getting rid of sin, we would not be able to speak to our Heavenly Father. So in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask in faith, we will receive, we will cope only with his help. Thank you so much and do take care. God bless you all.